द गॉड फादर इज रिगार्डेड एज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट एंड मोस्ट इन्फ्लुएंशियल फिल्म एवर मेड एज वेल एज अ लैंडमार्क ऑफ द गैंगस्टर जॉनर पॉलिन किल रोड दैट If ever there was a great example of how the best popular movies come out of a merger of commerce and art, The Godfather is it. The Godfather gets everything near perfect. Not only did the movie transcend expectations, it established new benchmarks for the world cinema. The Godfather is a 1972 American epic gangster film directed by Francis Ford Coppola, who co-wrote the screenplay with Mario Puzo, based on Puzo's best-selling 1969 novel of the same title. Direction is very intelligent. It is the first installment in the Godfather trilogy, chronicling the Corleone family under patriarch Vito Corleone, played by Marlon Brando, and his superb performance, often imitated by many actors later. It focuses on the transformation of his youngest son, Michael Corleone, from reluctant family outsider to ruthless mafia boss. At the 45th Academy Awards, the film won Best Picture, Best Actor for Brando. and best adapted screenplay for Puzo and Coppola in addition the seven other oscar nominations included pacino kan and duval all for best supporting actor and coppola for best director brando who did not attend the golden globe ceremony 2 months earlier boycotted the academy award ceremony and declined the oscar becoming the second actor to decline a best actor award after george c scott in 1971 Brando sent American Indian rights activist Sachin Little Feather in his place to announce at the awards podium Brando's reasons for declining the award which were based on his objection to the depiction of American Indians by Hollywood and television. Pacino also boycotted the ceremony. He was insulted at being nominated for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor when he had more screen time than his co-star and Best Actor winner Brando and thus should have received the nomination for Best Actor. In 1945, the New York City Corleone family don Vito Corleone listens to requests during his daughter's Connie's wedding to Carlo. Buenos Aires comes to don for help because justice system fails or he is not satisfied with the system. Then he comes to meet Don and seeks help in exchange of money. He is Don's relative but never met him. Here Don demands respect from him. Finally he asks for friendship and calls him godfather. This is very calm and dark shadowed room. and contrast to this outside is bright sunlight loud music dance colorful dresses cookies flowers this first sequence intercut between the room and wedding scenes and run almost for 27 minutes in this sequence most of the characters introduced and by now we come to know their character traits so godfather's world is set up with minute details vito refuses to take family photo without michael vito gives utmost importance to the family We see one of the gangster Luca Brasi repeating to himself how to thank Vito how even gangsters are scared of Godfather All heads of the five gangster families come for wedding judges and politicians send their gifts FBI men came outside and note down car numbers Vito's eldest son Sunny played by James Caan asked them but can't stop them instead he broke the camera of journalist and throw some notes on him We see the aggression of him Throughout the film, his aggressive nature is not changed. Contrast to this, very calm, somewhat shy, handsome, thoughtful, Vito's youngest son Michael, played by Al Pacino, and give career-defining and charismatic performance. A marine who has thus far stayed out of the family business, come in uniform with his girlfriend Kay Adams, played by beautiful, giggly Diane Keaton. There is no significant role for any woman character in The Godfather. Johnny Fontane a popular singer and Vito's godson seeks Vito's help in securing a movie role Michael said to K my father helped him in his career K asks how initially band leader refuses to free Johnny from the contract so my father make him an offer he can't refuse he did this at gun point Michael is not involved in family business but he is proud of his father he said to K that's my family K it's not me Godfather while taunting Sunny because his extramarital affair asked Johnny you spend time with your family because a man who doesn't spend time with his family can never be a real man he assures Johnny he will get the role he wanted i am going to make him an offer he can't refuse Vito sends his consigliere Tom Hagen played by Robert Duval to pursue studio president Jack Walls to offer Johnny the part Walls refuses Hagen's request at first but soon complies after finding the severed head of his prized stud horse in his bed 
Coppola hired Italian composer Nino Rota to create the score for the film, including love theme from The Godfather. Rota synthesized new music for the film and took some parts from his 1958 Fortunella film score. In order to create an Italian feel and evoke the tragedy within the film, Coppola believed that Rota's musical piece gave the film even more of an Italian feel. Coppola's father Carmine created some additional music for the film, particularly the music played by the band during the opening wedding scene. As Christmas approaches, drug baron Virgil, the Turk, Solozo, asks Vito to invest in his narcotics business and for police protection. Vito declines, citing that involvement in narcotics would alienate his political connections. Suspicious of Solozo's partnership with the Tataglia crime family, Vito sends his enforcer Luca Brasi to the Tataglias on an espionage mission. Brasi is garroted to death during the initial meeting. Later, enforcers gun down Vito and coerce Hagen into a meeting. With Sunny now in command, Solozo pressures Hagen to pursue Sunny to accept the narcotics deal. Paramount President Stanley Jaffe required Brando to perform a screen test. Coppola did not want to offend Brando and stated that he needed to test equipment in order to set up the screen test at Brando's California residence. For makeup, Brando stuck cotton balls in his cheeks, put shoe polish in his hair to darken it, and rolled his collar. Coppola placed Brando's audition tape in the middle of the videos of the audition tapes as the Paramount executives watched them. The executives were impressed with Brando's efforts and allowed Coppola to cast Brando for the role if Brando accepted a lower salary and put up a bond to ensure he would not cause any delays in production. Coppola gave several roles in the film to family members. He gave his sister Talia Shire the role of Connie Corleone. His daughter Sophia, then an infant, appeared as Michael Francis Rizzi, Connie's and Carlo's newborn son. Carmine Coppola, his father, appeared in the film as an extra playing a piano during a scene. Coppola's wife, mother and two sons all appeared as extras in the picture. Vito survives the shooting and is visited in the hospital by Michael, who finds him unprotected after NYPD officers on Solozo's payroll cleared out Vito's guards. Michael thwarts the attempt on his father's life but is beaten by corrupt police captain Mark McCluskey. This is the only scene in movie we see police officer in uniform and that to be corrupt. After the attempted hit at the hospital, Sunny retaliates with a hit on Bruno Tataglia. Solozo and McCluskey request to meet with Michael and settle the dispute. There is discussion on this proposal. Here Michael takes a center position agrees to meet. He is sitting in a chair and camera slowly moving towards him. Prepare a plan with Sunny and Corleone capo Clemenza to kill them and go into hiding. Also learn some tricks from Clemenza. Michael meets Solozo and McCluskey at a Bronx restaurant. After retrieving the handgun planted in the washroom by Clemenza, he shoots both men dead. Vito Corleone back in home from hospital. All family members come to visit him. Wherever writer gets the space, they shows the family values. For me, this is the great family drama film. Michael takes refuge in Sicily. Stark contrast with the city life of New York as dark, stressful, suspense, and in Sicily, the countryside, yellow tone, romantic land. Filming took place primarily on location around New York City and in Sicily. Cinematographer Gordon Willis and Coppola agreed to not use any modern filming devices, helicopters, or zoom lenses. Willis and Coppola chose to use a table-view format of filming to make it seem as if it was viewed like a painting. He made use of shadows and low light levels throughout the film to show psychological developments. Willis and Coppola agreed to interplay light and dark scenes throughout the film, like life and death contrast. Fredo, played by the John Cazale, Vito's second son, is sheltered by Moe Green in Las Vegas. Sunny publicly attacks and threatens Carlo for physically abusing Connie. When he abuses her again, Sunny speeds to their home but is ambushed and murdered by gangsters at a highway toll booth. This is famous shootout scene, later replicated in many movies. In Sicily, Michael meets and marries a local woman, Apollonia, but she is killed shortly thereafter by a car bomb intended for him. This is also sudden and unpredictable scene, later replicated in many movies. Devastated by Sunny's death and tired of warfare between gangster families, Vito sets a meeting with the five families. He assures them that he will withdraw his opposition to their narcotics business and forego avenging Sunny's murder. His safety guaranteed, Michael returns home to enter the family business and marry Kay. 
we see Michael and Kay in car and their son in uniform. Later Michael visits Las Vegas to meet Fredo and legalize the business. Johnny is also there. Here Michael repeats the line to Fredo about Moe Green. I make him an offer he can't refuse. Moe Green is angry on him and leave. Later Michael is dismayed to see that Fredo is more loyal to Green than to his own family. And he tells Fredo, don't ever take side with anyone against the family again, ever. Mario Puzo's book, The Godfather, which remained on the New York Times bestseller list for 67 weeks and sold over 9 million copies in two years. Coppola decided that the film should not be about organized crime, but a family chronicle, a metaphor for capitalism in America. The themes of culture, character, power, and family at the forefront of the film. After Coppola was hired as a director, both Puzo and Coppola worked on the screenplay, but separately. There, he made notes about each of the book scenes, which related to major themes prevalent in the scene, whether the scene should be included in the film, along with ideas and concepts that could be used when filming to make the film true to Italian culture. The two remained in contact while they wrote their respective screenplays and made decisions on what to include and what to remove for the final version. When filming, Coppola referred to the notebook he had created over the final draft of the screenplay. Vito reveals to Michael that it was Don Barzini who ordered the hit on Sunny and warns him that Barzini would try to kill him at a meeting organized by a traitorous Corleone Capo, words by wise man. Vito dies of heart attack while playing with Michael's son Anthony. At Vito's funeral, Tessio asks Michael to meet with Barzini, signaling his betrayal. The meeting is set for the same day as the baptism of Connie's baby. While Michael stands at the altar as the child's godfather, Corleone hitmen murder the dons of the five families, in addition to Green for not selling his hotel, and Tessio for betraying Michael. Michael extracts Carlo's confession for his involvement in Sonny's murder. He assures Carlo that he is being exiled, not murdered. However, Clemenza strangles Carlo in a car moments after his confession. Connie confronts Michael about his involvement in Carlo's death while K is in the room. K asks Michael if he ordered Carlo's death and is relieved when he denies responsibility. As she leaves, Capos enter the office and pay reverence to Michael as Don Corleone. K watches this through the door and door is closed on her face. I watched this movie multiple times, read the screenplay twice and read the book also. All are great and engaging. You also must watch this great film by Coppola repeatedly and see the impact of these films on other movies. If you enjoyed this video, then please like and share this video, do subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click the bell icon.